the Berbers, as they are known to the world, or as they like to call themselves the Amazigh, which literally means the free people, are an ethnic group indigenous to the North African region. They are the descendants of its pre-Arab inhabitants. Although they are usually put under the Arab umbrella most of the times by foreigners, a significant number of Northwest Africans, whether they consider themselves Berber or Arab, are predominantly of Berber origin and have distinct culture, from carpets to clothes, jewels to cuisine to architecture. These people have lived and still live in North Africa, between Egypt west of the Nile River and the Atlantic Ocean in the snowy highlands of the Grand Atlas Mountains of Morocco to the hot Saharan desert of Libya for thousands of years and their presence have been recorded as early as 3000 BC as the Greeks, Romans and even the ancient Egyptians have indicated the presence of Berbers in their records but there is no complete certitude about the origin of the Berbers for example, the Greek historian Herodotus said 5 centuries BC that Berbers descend from the inhabitants of Troy, who had sought refuge in North Africa after their city was conquered by the Greeks. A few centuries later, the Roman historian Sallustus claimed they originated from Persia. Later, the Byzantine historian Procopus saw the Berbers as being Canaanians, who were expelled from Palestine by the tribes of Israel after the defeat of the Goliath by David. However, according to the genetic studies, the genetically predominant ancestors of the Berbers appear to have come from East Africa, the Middle East, or even both, but the details of this remain unclear. In another hand, significant proportions of both the Berbers and the Arabized Berber gene pools derive from recent human migration of various Italic, Semitic, Germanic, and Sub-Saharan African peoples out of whom have left their genetic footprints in the region. The Berber people have been called by many names throughout history. In the Greek period, the Berbers were known as Libyans, a Greek term for the inhabitants of Northwest Africa. Their lands were called Libya and extended from modern Morocco to the western Siwa oasis in modern-day Egypt. 20,000 Berbers still live and the Berber Siwi language is still spoken till this day. They were also called Numibians and Africans by the Romans and Moors by Spain and medieval Europe. Their looks might differ from a subgroup to another. The Tuareg, for example, which is a Berber nomad group that lives in the south of the Saharan desert look quite black. The Shlu, who live in mid-Morocco, look fairly light-skinned. The Rifians and the Kabylis that live in northern Morocco and northeast Algeria respectively look very light-skinned. Unlike the conquests of the previous religions and cultures, the coming of Islam, which was spread by the Arabs, was to have pervasive and long-lasting effects on North Africa. The new faith in its various forms would penetrate nearly all segments of society, bringing with it armies, learned men, and in large parts, replacing tribal practices and loyalties with new social norms and political idioms. Nonetheless, the Islamization and Arabization of the region were complicated and landy processes as it took the Berber civil centuries to finally convert to Islam after many revolts. It was not until around the 12th century under the powerful Berber dynasties of al muhads and al muravids that originated from Morocco and adopted Islam in the rule that this new religion flourished in the North African societies. They were mostly known for their Muslim-influenced architecture, the traces of which can still be found in Portugal, Spain, as well as in Morocco and Algeria. The Arabization and the cultural and linguistic oppression of the Berbers in the region, however, has continued until lately. After the independence of Algeria and Morocco from France, the democratic transformation has begun and the demand for more freedom and recognition of the Berber population sparked with it in both countries, 
Algeria as a result has recognized the Berber language as a national language in 2002 with some restrictions, followed by Morocco whose constitution was replaced in 2011 and recognized the Berbers fully and their language as a national language. Today, the struggle for more recognition by activists continues and the governments are slowly responding. If you liked the video, please subscribe to the channel.